What's up guys and welcome to today's support video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use side quests wirelessly with your Quest 2. Now, this support video, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need your Quest 2. You're going to need a USB cable. It doesn't necessarily have to be a link cable as long as it can connect to both the Quest 2 and your mobile phone. And of course, you're going to also need your phone. So the first thing we need to do is get your Quest registered for developer mode so we can unlock the settings that we need. So you're going to take those built-in controllers of yours and head over to developer.oculus.com slash manage slash organizations slash create or you could just click on the link in the description of this video. That's definitely going to be a lot faster. Now, once there, you might have to log in with your Quest slash Facebook account. You're going to create an organization. You can name it anything you want. Click I understand and then click submit. Congratulations. You've just created your first organization. Look at you. It only took you about a minute. With your organization fully established, the next thing we're going to need to do is enable developers mode on your Quest. So grab your Quest 2. Make sure it's booted up. Make sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi as your mobile device. Grab your phone. Make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. We're going to launch the Oculus app, go to devices, hit the developers mode option that should now be there and click enable. Next, we're going to download the side quest application from the Play Store at timeout. Rain, what if I don't have an Android phone? Is this app available on iPhones? Well, I'm so glad you asked innocuous voice. That sounds exactly like mine. Unfortunately, not yet. If you have an iPhone, you'll need to use the SideQuest desktop app for Windows or Mac. Yeah, sorry, iPhone users, but now you have a little bit of an insight what it's like to be an Android user most of the time. Time in. Once downloaded, now you're gonna connect your Quest 2 to your phone using that USB cable. Now, you might need to adjust the USB preferences for it to connect, so you are just pulled out on your notification bar and change the USB settings to connected device and you should be good to go. Once everything is connected up, launch the SideQuest application. Your phone's going to ask if you want to use SideQuest installer to handle your Quest 2. You press yes. Now put on your headset and inside you're going to press allow the USB debugging, hit OK, and your Quest 2 should establish a connection with your mobile phone via SideQuest. Now if you get a spinning message or message just, just won't go away saying it's looking for your Quest 2 to connect, you might have to Disconnect the USB cable from your Quest 2 and replug it in and hit the allow USB debugging a couple of times in the headset for it to fully go through. I ran into that issue, but usually if you launch side quests after the Quest 2 is connected to your device, you should be good to go. Now that everything is established the connection, let's enable the wireless option for side quest so you don't have to plug in your Quest 2 every time you want to connect. With your Quest still connected to your phone via the USB, you're going to open side quests if you close it for some reason and click on the wireless toolbar button scroll down and click enable wireless once done you can disconnect your quest from your phone and just press the connection button next to the ip address at the bottom of the wireless menu in the side quest app to connect to your quest wirelessly provided that you're on the same network now after enabling these wireless capabilities you shouldn't really need to connect your quest physically to your phone anymore for a while side quest tends to remember the ip address for a long time but keep in mind that if your headset reboots or if the battery dies the wireless option is going to be disabled and you're going to have to perform these steps all over again so it might be a good idea to save this video in case you need a reference maybe congratulations you've completed the side quest of wirelessly connecting to side quests it makes sense if you enjoyed the video make sure to like share subscribe to the channel for support questions use the link below or the comment section of this video and for more quest videos make sure to check out the video we did on how to use your link cable the right way until next time guys make sure to stay safe stay technical enjoy your day peace out